Today we're on Libra 15 and Aries 15. Thanks for joining me today. Let's jump into Libra. Circular paths. Young girls harvesting the choicest leaves of green tea. Prehistoric paintings on the walls of a vast chamber of a cave. A spiral path that never seems to come to an end and a theatrical mathematician inventing formula simply for the sake of their beauty. Formulae, I think that's, that's plural. The stone for Libra is ammonite or amylite and it is a fossil of marine mollusks, spiral shape, like the shape of a a shell. They stimulate chi energy, the life force within, activate kundalini and life path energies. In the home they attract health, prosperity, and success. Beautiful iridescent color. They're gorgeous. Um, they remind me of, of rainbows. They've got all the colors of the rainbow. Really, really beautiful. Check those out. This degree is talking about cycles and that you, this, is, this is where you might feel like, oh, I, I've been here before, I keep doing this, how many times am I going to have to go over this? But So you can either look at this one positively or negatively and to take the high road, know that everything that goes around comes around and to again take it easy and I did have a dream this morning where it's a young man standing with a, um, a shovel in his hand but really looking out over the scenery and that it's it's time to assess where you want to go know that yes you've been here before yes you will be here again but each time you come through it's slightly different and to project in feeling like it's you're already there and feeling like you're totally whole because there is no beginning there is no end it's just it's just a, a, a spiral a beautiful spiral of life taking great care in all things that we do knowing that because we're going to come and pass this way again that to put our best intention into right now will come back around to us but to feel whole right now today that's what that's what Libra 15 is saying let's take a look at Aries Aries 15 an Indian weaving a blanket in the light of the setting sun that's one of them the other one is an Indian weaving a ceremonial blanket so two slightly different things ceremony again tea leaves um, tea ceremony comes to mind with this the, 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 the play between the two an hourglass in which the sand has become stuck an old magician forming golems out of clay and the search for dark matter the stone for Aries is silsified dinosaur bones, and I looked that word up. It is convert into, impregnate with silica. So the dinosaur bones, a propensity to increase energy and memory. Excellent for past life work, past life healing, promotes sincerity, moral excellence, holds energy of enlightened action, karmic understanding. And this is going back to Libra in that our actions have consequences. Do the best you can with where you are. See yourself all the way down the road to exactly where you want to be and you'll get there. Okay, to hold, to hold that thought. I missed one. A man with pointed ears. Acute hearing hearing into things when someone is speaking to really listen 
because you'll you'll hear more than what they're just saying so it's kind of reading in between the lines and this is not an action this is again a pause so I think yesterday when I wasn't sure with with the dream that I had I think it was partly saying that hold, hold your horses this is not a time for action this is a time for contemplation for imagination and to the action that's required right now is planning and to feel complete and whole and pause uh, the hourglass is stuck meaning that it's the breath in between and to just take it easy that all things will come in their time and the ceremonial blanket you know a blanket is one thing it keeps you warm a ceremonial blanket is a different animal it's it's special so to have ceremony in all things you do whether you're baking bread whether you're cooking dinner whether you're heating your coffee making tea is to do it with ceremony when you put your intention into the things you do you can f there there is an energy that goes with that I witness this often because my husband loves to cook and he has he has the ability to he puts his emotions he loves to bake he loves to cook and when he does he only cooks when he wants to but I mean he always loves to and he ends up cooking you know every couple days or whatever but everything he makes you you can feel it you can feel it and when you when you look at great artists artwork you can feel it that there's there's an energy that that comes off of it and part of that is focus that that when you put your focused intentions into something that energy even though it, it's it's the dark matter it's um, even though you can't touch it in this physical world you can certainly feel it one comment here was enjoying the freedom of uncertainty just knowing that you know I don't I don't have to know everything that's gonna happen and I trust that my thoughts are where they need to be and that it's all gonna go according to plan and the, the step here right now is to think it in taking great care in all we do the Ammonite and the Amalite it is in the shape of the Fibonacci spiral that that right there just that image alone sums up Libra the Libra 15 it comes from the depths of the ocean it's from it says millions of years old I don't know how how they know that but anyway um, and they're just beautiful they're beautiful they're like the colors of the rainbow and in the shape of the spiral of life and that something very small where the spiral starts really small and that each time it, it spirals out it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger so if you take care at each little step the more you do that the more that keeps coming back to you and it spirals and and the same is true for the opposite if you're careless and sloppy and are begrudgingly doing each thing you do if you ha do it over and over and over again that comes back as well and so this is saying that we have a choice uh, this is this is a place to stop plan long-range plans and anything that we do choose to do do it in a ceremonial way especially little things so circular machinery tea leaves mathematicians circular paths blankets hourglass dark matter the magician forming golems out of clay I think a golem is uh, let me look at that real quick something scary a helper a companion a rescuer 
So it's creating, the golem is creating something out of nothing create with your thoughts, with your intentions. And so each thing we do, we're, we're creating our own golems formed out of a lifeless substance such as dust or earth brought to life by ritual incantations and sequences of Hebrew letters. So yeah, that's interesting, golems. So um, happy Saturday. Thank you so much for being here today. If you have had any dreams about Libra 15 or Aries, if it's really strong in your your birth chart, if, if the words that I'm saying bring something to mind with you, please share it in the comments below. We all would love to hear it and um, learn. Um, I certainly would. And uh, I hope you take care. Have a lovely Saturday. Until next time.